A blessed morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is the 22nd Sunday in ordinary time in the liturgical calendar of the Roman Catholic Church. Religious traditions and practices are good, but they should neither be a cover-up nor a substitute for a lack of personal intimacy with the Lord. Though we give God service with our lips and our actions, our hearts are far from Him. This is hypocrisy about which the Lord reproaches the religious leaders and the teachers of the law in today's gospel. People must realize that the true divine worship is our loving and intimate relationship with God. This relationship with God must be manifested in the way we relate with our brothers and sisters. Do we see the Lord in the face of others, especially those who need to be evangelized, as in the case of the person who fooled us? Allowing ourselves to be fooled hinders us from seeing Christ. In this Holy Mass, let us pray to the Lord for the gift of a simple heart. Faith itself is a gift of God, and we are able to come close to God primarily because of His grace rather than our own merits. In this 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by our Archbishop of Ozamis, Most Reverend Martin Sarmiento Humuad D.D. Let us all stand and sing the entrance hymn. Mass, we remember the following intentions. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Paul Wilson, Williamson Salud, Paul Benedict Salud, Conception Salud, Pablo Mabida and family, and Quijados family. Also for recovery, for healing, for Father Edgar Rivero. Also for the souls of Maximo, Elsie, Lester, Philip, Jimmy, John, Tan William Angnui, Melicio Dolores, Tarsila Fernando Margarito, Juliana Carding, Jose Junior Basilia Pastor, Conrada Teofilo Harry, and all souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, good morning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, 
Lead us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to so pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest Glory to God in the highest And peace to the sweet Lord giver of every good gift put into our hearts the love of your name 
so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear all of the statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the word the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise to honor the gospel. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within, people from their hearts come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within 
and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Brothers and sisters, good morning. Let us first reflect on the first reading and remember that the life of every Israelite is centered on the law, the Ten Commandments, and the temple. So these are the two things that give life to the Israelites, the law and the temple. To set apart from them would imply death. An Israelite who does not know the law and the rituals of the temple is considered as having no life. This is the implication of the first reading where Moses says, and I quote, Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe that you may live. In this pandemic, we are also reminded to observe health protocols if we want to live, if we want to enjoy life longer. Wash your hands, wear face shields, wear masks, observe proper distancing. The world in this pandemic teaches us that to survive and to live longer, we have to observe health protocols and vaccination is added to this. Moses, on the other hand, reminded the Israelites to hear the statutes and decrees and to observe the, and to observe them so that one may live. The world speaks of life here on earth while Moses speaks of life after death. There is another life after our life here on earth, but we start this life by observing the laws and decrees of the Lord. This is made concrete in the gospel today. Actually, the Pharisees were asking about the rituals but have implications of life after death. The question is about cleanliness. What makes a person unclean? When what makes a person clean also? When a person is clean, then he can enter the kingdom of God. The Pharisees were concerned about external aspects, those which can be seen, and they are part and they are partially correct. In fact, we have the saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. But for Jesus, what makes a person unclean are those which will come out of the person, his words. The things that we utter make us unclean. Anger, resentment, envy, our actions, arrogance, murder, so on and so forth. If they are bad words, bad actions, then the person is unclean. In other words, for Jesus, what makes us unclean is when we do not practice, we do not put into action God's word. This has connection with what Moses said in the first reading. Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe that you may live. Moses reminded the Israelites to observe the law. Jesus reminds us that cleanliness of the soul is seen when we practice God's word. When we put into action the tenets of the Lord, the practice of God's word is not confined in the church. We are challenged to live God's word. We continue living the gospel in the office where we work, in the public market where we go. We are challenged to be consistent in becoming a disciple of the Lord wherever we go. 
A disciple is one who obeys and practices God's word, whether he or she is in the office, in the kitchen, in the public market, at home. No dichotomy of action. A disciple who possesses clean heart respects the elderly, the children, the beggars, the poor, the marginalized. Ang kalimpyo sa atong kasing-kasing makita sa atong pagtagad, pagpakighalubilo, pagpakiguban sa atong relasyon sa mga tao nga ubos kanato. Kung aduna kita respeto kanila, bisan sila makililimos, pobre, kabos, pero dili ta musulti og dautan kanila. Og dili pud nato sila yama yamaan. Kana bang when you look at yourself as higher and you still respect those people who are lower in you. Mao na nga importante kaayo ang pagpuyo sa kining ebanghelyo. Kay ang ato rong ebanghelyo ug ang first reading gapahinumdom man yun nato nga atong puyan ang balaod nga atong ipraktis ang pulong sa Ginoo. Lisod kayo na oi, eh. kana lang gugma to love to love our enemies and pray for our persecutors. That is a great challenge for all of us. Lisod kay nang puy ay puy an oi. Eh. Ambot lang ka og sayo na para sa uban. Pero ako sayod nga kun duna kay gikaaway you don't like to see the person eye to eye gani bisa pag musimba na siya og hapit mong magkatagbo muli kay kag yun because you do not want to greet the person and that makes us unclean kun dili ta makahibalo nga mo reconcile kun dili ta makahibalo mo to reach out mona nga kanang muingon nga Sayon kayong pagsantos, lisod ay. It is too difficult to become a saint because a saint is really a fool in this world because he lives differently. Higugmaon ang dili ang ayang higugmaon to love our enemies and to pray for our persecutors. Hmm? Kalisod anong puyan? But we continue to ask God's grace in order that we will be able to reach the kingdom. And if you are still alive, it is because we are being purified. Mauna nga, mga pagantos, our sufferings, our pains, are actually forms of purifications because of the sins that we have committed. Again, what makes us unclean are those actions which are contrary to the laws, which are contrary to the gospel values. When we do not practice God's word, then we become unclean. Let us try to practice God's word let us try to live particularly the injunction where the Lord tells us love your enemies and pray for your persecutors kung nato nang mahimo wala na tingali kining mga judges wala na persecute wala na po tingali mga prosecutors wala na mga fiscal kay nindot na ang atong lugar pero panahon na po nang mamatay ta kung doon na na'y kalinaw if there is total peace if there is total love if everybody respects one another then that's the time to go brothers and sisters we are asked challenge to live the gospel values we are challenged to put into practice the Word of God, the law of love. And this is the message of the second reading today. 
taken from St. James. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. Kadaghana na to, may malang mamati sa pulong sa ginoo. Pero dili man na to, gipuyan ang pulong sa ginoo. Again, in the second reading, St. James reminds us, Be doers of the word and not hearers only. When we put into practice God's word, we save our souls. Nya na po'y ana na to ang pulong sa ginoo nga higugmaon ang atong mga kaaway. Do na kay mayong relasyon ron sa imong mga silingan. Naguli na mo kay gaaway man ka mo kay galilibakay man mo sa kining pagdawat sa sap o uban pa nga mga ayuda sa gobyerno. Doon na mo'y maayong relasyon. Doon na tayo maayong relasyon din sa panimalay. Even brothers and sisters, sometimes they become mortal enemies. Maybe because of properties. Mauna nga inigkamatay na to. Nagsunod-sunod mong gurong kamatay sa mong pamilya. Last two weeks ago, my brother, and then yesterday, my uncle, naunsa na ni, pero well, that's the will of God. But eventually, we ask ourselves, how how do we practice the word of God? And do I have do I have good relationship with my neighbors? Do I really live? The injunction of Jesus telling us, love your enemies, pray for your persecutors. We continue to reflect and we say, have a resolution telling yourself, Lord, give me the grace. I will struggle to put into practice, into action, your the gospel values in order that I will be able to enter the kingdom of God. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us call upon our Father to cleanse our hearts and minds so that we may render Him sincere worship and be filled with His grace. With humble hearts we say, Hear us, O loving Father. Hear us, O loving Father. For Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Priests and Deacons, may their way of life be consistent to the sacraments they celebrate. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For the leaders of our nation, may they put an end to the spread of deceit, hatred, blasphemies, and killings, 
and may they promote and protect the dignity of the poor and the marginalized. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For those who find their life burdensome, may they unite their sufferings and pains with Jesus and be comforted by their families and communities. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For all of us gathered, may we truly offer the whole mind and heart to the Lord as part of our true worship. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For our beloved dead, may the Lord show them great care and raise them up to eternal life. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. Father, may we worship you with our whole hearts. Hear the pleas of your faithful people as we, as we promise that the graces we shall receive will always be deferred for your greater glory. We ask we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Let me God forever. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just Our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere To give you thanks Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God For although you have no need of our praise Yet our thanksgiving Is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you Therefore, as we celebrate 
the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy Archbishop of Uzamis, and all bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Let us sing with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. In order to organize and facilitate the Holy Communion, everyone is requested to remain seated for a while. Let us wait for the Archbishop and the lay ministers to be on their respective posts. There are signages on the floor and ushers to guide us where to wait, to stand, and to pass after receiving the body of Christ. Those who are seated in front will be the first ones to fall in line, and then the next row, and so on. We hope that everyone would follow, and as always, let us observe physical distancing. Thank you very much.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the, of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, O Prince, o Prince of, the of the heavenly hosts, host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and, and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Pagampo ni Papa Francisco ng ato sa tungin nahan nga si Maria, kayuhan sa masakiton batok sa COVID-19. O Maria, ikaw nagbanwag kanunay sa among pagpanaw, isip timaan sa kaluwasan o paglaong. Nagtugyan kami sa among makaugalingon kanimo, kayuhan sa mga masakiton. Sa tiilan sa krus, ikaw misalmot sa kasakit ni Jesus, ubag makanunayong pagtuo. Ikaw, kaluwasan sa tanang katawan, Romanhon, Pilipinhon, misamisnon, nasayod unsay among ikinahanglan. Kami sigurado nga ikaw muhatag, aron sama sa imong ihimo dito sa kasalsagan sa Galilea, kalipay o kumbira mo balik nining yugto sa pagsulay. Tabangi kami inahan sa Diyos ng gugma, nga kami mo pahiuyon sa kabubuton sa amahan, Ug mo sa nong sa gisulti kanamo ni Jesus, siya ang mipasan sa among mga kasakit, o bibati sa among kasubo, aron kami dalhon, pinaagi sa krus, ngadto sa kalipay sa pagkabanaw, nagadangob kami ubo sa iyong panalipod, o balaang inahan sa Diyos, ayaw ipaliwala ang among mga pangaliyoko, kami nga karon gisulayan, o luwasa kami sa matagkatalagman, O mahimayaon, o gulahang berhen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Let us praise God for this day that we are gathered to celebrate the Holy Eucharist in the 22nd Sunday in the ordinary time. How about clapping our hands to glorify the Lord? Let us express our heartfelt gratitude to our Mass Presider, the Archbishop of Ozamis, most Reverend Martin Sarmiento Humuad DD. A resounding applause, please. Let us also thank the members of the Cathedral Male Choir, the lectors, mass collectors, mass sponsors, the altar servers, ushers, and to the lay ministers. Thank you also, DXDD Radio Television, through Mr. Manny Ronquillo, for the coverage of today's Eucharistic celebration. And to all of you, brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you very much. Let us always remember that we become clean when we put into practice the Word of God and the Gospel values, not only in the church, but also in our workplaces and the community. As always, let us love our enemies and pray for our persecutors. Please stand. Thank you also to our commentator, Sir Joey Rebello. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. For every blessing, please answer Amen. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you. And in His kindness, pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with, every, with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you.